Tight squeeze. Well, we've got uh, six locks to do today and uh, just about three miles all told. But the big adventure of the day is Hare Castle Tunnel. It's uh, just over a mile long and uh, you can't go through on your own. You have to wait because it's one way traffic to get through. So you have to wait your turn and uh, if we're not there by midday then we'll have to wait till tomorrow because uh, after midday you have to book your slot because the last passage through the tunnel is at four o'clock so they've got no slots this afternoon so we're hoping we'll get there by 12. we want to fill up with water and also do a bit of shopping because uh, fran's got a voucher for lidl supermarket five pounds off if you spend 25 quid but if you've ever tried to spend 25 quid in Lidl, it's a hard ask because uh, it's so cheap. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're doing. So Fran's up ahead, opening up the first lock. And there's a boat coming down, she says. One coming down. Right, here it goes. So in preparation for the tunnel, we've taken all the plants off the roof and stuck them in the well deck. Because I think it's a little bit low and also it gives us better vision going through the tunnel. So just two locks to go and we're there. It's a quarter to 12. The tunnel entrance is five minutes away. We've just come up this lock. I'm hovering because Fran's in Lidl's shopping and uh, We've got till 12 o'clock at the cut-off point before they let us in. So uh, Fran says she's going to be really super quick. She's been over 20 minutes now. <laughs> well, it's a sure sign that we're going through Hare Castle Hill. The water is orange. There's iron in them there hills. Well, that was a bit tight. <laughs> By the skin of our teeth, I think is the phrase. Yes, it was a close one, Francis. <laughs> we got here at two minutes to 12 and you have to be here by 12 o'clock to guarantee passage through the tunnel. However, there was a little at the last lock and it just had to be done, didn't it? Didn't it? I did get a little bit of a look when I came back, but once he knew that I've got <laughs> crisps and ice cream and jelly. jelly. And Jello. cakes and biscuits and uh, is okay yeah, with me looking now. looking after me. And anyway, there's a boat waiting. 
There are two boats on their way through the tunnel, which is going to be about 20 minutes, half an hour. Yeah. And then we can go. So time for lunch. Yes. But this um, Harecastle Tunnel is not the original one, the one we're going through. There are two tunnels here. First was built by James Brindley and completed in 1777. It took 11 years to build. The second tunnel was built by Thomas Telford and completed in 1827 and just took three years to build. So the advances in technology, even in those days, was amazing. And when you think the tunnel is what? How long? I think it's just a mile, isn't it? About but, a mile. I mean, that's still quite incredible to do it yeah. in even eight years, really, let alone three. Eleven was the first. <laughs> the difference was eight years. I wasn't years. listening. The difference no, was eight years. Pay attention, <laughs> Pike. I bet, I bet they couldn't do that this day and age in no, that time. <laughs> pickaxes and uh, the odd bits of dynamite. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. I'm going to get bored after about ten minutes, but uh, we're a bit concerned that the solar panels are a bit high but they don't spread too far across the width of the boat, so we, we'll, I think we'll be all right. And <laughs> <laughs> we think. <laughs> it's too late now. So yeah, here goes. See you on the other side. Do you think? It seemed much longer last time, first time we did it, but I think we were much slower in Constanza. Yeah, that holiday boat in front was kicking along at a fair pace, wasn't it? Yeah, probably terrified. Goose 
Goose. A gooses. Gooses, geese, everywhere. So it'd be a nightmare with the dogs. So it's a nice day. It's ages since we've done whole days cruising. So we're just going to keep going. Um, if we find a nice spot soon, we'll stop. If not, we might go all the way through Stoke and cruise on until the um, into the sunset, darling. Yes. <laughs> so That's, let's see. Uh, with our first accident with the boat. Oh yeah, shall I show in, them? In the tunnel. The, uh, the tunnel gets really low in one point and um, took my eye off the ball and ended up on the side scraped the boat but so these things happen we've got the paint haven't we we touch her up yeah uh, oh i thought we'd lost an archie dog then but we're fine so we'll just let you know how we get on and where we stop and we'll see you later Been on the go for seven hours now. About a we, million locks. We ended up doing um, 11 locks. And quite a lot and of a, miles. And a mile and three quarter tunnel. Yeah. We thoroughly enjoyed it though, we? We've yeah. loved it. Quite often, you know, ritual station we carry on and my heart sinks a bit because I just want to stop. But today, I don't know, it just feels like we're cruising with a purpose and we want to be out somewhere nice. We've done Stoke, we've done the Potteries. We didn't need to stop there again. Cruising so, with the poor boys. <laughs> and we met up with Darren and Joe, didn't we? The guy Darren did our electrics. Yeah, on Darren. The last boat. Yeah. So we met up with them. Met up with Rob the Lock, who helped us through Stoke Locks. Oh, two years two ago. Years ago. Yeah. Um, and if you want to have a look at that video. Oh, I've got to go and sort that out now and find it. <laughs> <laughs> you know you like doing that. Um, yeah, it's been a really lovely cruise. I think we've got a couple of miles left to go. Yeah. And, uh, well, we're more up for the night. Might treat ourselves to a, a little pint of beer in the pub garden, what do you say? I was going to suggest that. It's not a drinking day today. It's Tuesday, School but, School day. Uh, it's only salad for tea. We haven't got a cook, and I think we deserve it, yeah. We do deserve Small a pint. Small beer. Small? 